Bison's here in Fulton. There's a fly ball. Look at the deep Get up! Get up! Colmeyer, welcome you back to our McDonald's postgame report. I'm being joined right now by Lady Indian head coach Andy Kirk. This interview, like all of them this year, brought to you by PHI Fabric Warehouse in Tupelo. Congratulations, Andy. This was a scoreless game going quickly for both teams, and all of a sudden you erupted for four runs in the fourth, then you ended it with a four-run fifth. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are uh, super excited. That, you know, Rebecca Sloan was going well for us, and it was. It was going by quick, and I was wondering if it was going to be on the board tonight, and uh, Corey had a great at bat and got on base through the walk and then the only thing she has been hot for the last three weeks. When you when she turned it on, this season she was gonna be dangerous. Well that's exactly right. And those are those deflators. You two outs, nobody on in the fourth, and then we end up getting four runs, and then we played off that momentum in the fifth with four more to end it early. We did. We put we tried to put a lot of pressure on them after we got the lead. You know, it's a lot easier swinging the bat when you're you know, you got on a high and you got a four nothing lead and uh, we just kept kept kept, kept that. And how about Rebecca Sloan? She throws a no-hitter on sophomore day. She's now 14 and four. Her, her ERA started the day 1.91, continues to shrink. Just lights out by Rebecca Sloan. She is, she is so lights out. And you know, a lot of people don't realize she came here as a position player. She was going to be an infielder for us, and uh, we found out she could pitch, and that's all. You know, she's had some injuries, and we just let her be a pitcher for the rest of this year. She doesn't bat, she doesn't do anything, and she has been such a leader for us in the bullpen with a young staff. You know, Montana Hawkins going here. And, she has helped her out so much and get a career strikeout record and a season strikeout record. It's just amazing. It really is. It's quite a story. Before I let you go, I know you got to get ready for game two, uh, but we got to pick out a downtown plural star or stars of the game. Uh, we might have to go plural on this one, Andy. How about a couple of lady Indians that really stood out in your mind? I think we definitely will. You know, defensively and pitching, we got to go with Rebecca Sloan. Doesn't get any better than that. And uh, offensively, Emma Henderson getting going. Yeah, with a two-run home run, and then she got the big hit at the end of the game right there. So uh, I think we'd have to go both of those. Guys. That sounds good. Emily Henderson and Rebecca Sloan are downtown plural stars of the game. Downtown plural, well, not your everyday florist here in Fulton. Give Kim Rushing or Kevin I a call for all your decorating floral needs. Now it's game two. We've set the table. We won the first one. That sets up this second game. We're both tied. It's all for the North Division title. This is. That's all you can ask for. Coming into the season. You know, we had a lot of goals. We've met a lot of those goals, and one of them is winning North Division. That's why he's playing in the outfield. Right now, it's all you want for us. One thing I want to mention, too, is that we appreciate all the offices that have been playing. You know, seen girls basketball, baseball, baseball, the boys basketball, football. Uh, the Air Mill people, they're over there. We're doing the national anthem, and they're standing at attention. Everybody's into it, and, uh, and that's why these kids come to ICC. They want to play for champions. That's right. Well, we're one win away from getting another championship. Congratulations right. and good you. luck. Appreciate that. All right, Andy Kirk joining us on our McDonald's post-game report.